guys, RC Bros Productions here. Today, this is going to be a review of my new Blade Inductrix Switch, which is a, a drone, or I should say a quadcopter, it's not really a drone, it doesn't have a camera, and a hovercraft in one. Uh, the way this works is it the, the uh, propellers, or the I should say the ducted fans, these are more like ducted fans, um, they kind of pop out of the main frame and they pop in to the hovercraft here. Like that. And then these, there's little sockets there for them to slide into. And they click in place. And then you have a hovercraft, just like that. Now I have a hovercraft, and it can be used as so, and there's different settings on the transmitter which are achieved by stick motions that we will be showing later a detailed uh, review of how to do that, how to switch it into different modes. Um, the set came with this little uh, one cell, 150 milliamp, uh, 25C LiPo. It's a very common little LiPo battery. They're used for a lot of UMX planes and small uh, E-flight planes. Came with this little USB charger. And I also happen to have a couple of these chargers and two extra batteries from uh, other quadcopters I have had. And uh, I have this charger, so now I've got two chargers I can use for it. I've got other batteries, so now I don't have to use just this one. It takes about 15 minutes to charge the battery on either one of these, the USB or this little portable charger. This portable charger is not included, by the way. And flight time is only about five minutes, depending on how aggressively you're flying it and using throttle. The controller has no switches or anything, just it's a very basic controller. It's just got the sticks and the trim and on off, nothing special. And uh, now on to the flying video slash driving video in hovercraft mode. Now that the lights are flashing, that shows that the battery is low and it's time to land. It just gives you like 30 to 15 more seconds of flight time before you have to land. Just, you know, bring it back so you're able to bring it back if you're a long distance away. There we go. And we click this in to shut off the blades like that. They kind of, in order to start flying and stop flying, you need to press in this switch right here like this. Uh, sometimes it works. Oh, the battery's dead now, so it's not gonna do it, but you press it in and they start moving a little bit They move they spin very slowly and then you can throttle up uh, So it's kind of like idling in a way and then to just to turn them off completely you just Just press it in again the left one. Oh, okay. There they go It works sometimes 
And most of the time. There's a couple times where it doesn't do it, especially when it's low on battery. Like that. Okay, now we are going to show you the different modes. Uh, and then we'll after that we'll show you hovercraft driving. Okay, so here is the video showing how to switch it into different modes. So first you're going to turn on the transmitter and then plug in the battery. When you first get this out of the box, it's actually in hovercraft mode, uh, single stick hovercraft mode. So there's two hovercraft modes. The first mode is single stick, which is what it comes with out of the box. It's where you push this stick forward and it activates both the hovering motors and the forward pushing motors in the back. Um, so it, you control both of them with one stick and this turns left and right, obviously. And this stick doesn't do anything. And then the other way to do it is two stick operation, which is where this controls left and right like this. And the way left and right works is this one will speed up and this one will slow down or vice versa. And so this one in two stick operation, this stick right here uh, will control the forward uh, pushing propellers, or I should say ducted fans uh, that will control those. And this stick over here will control the hovering motors, which kind of, you can kind of mix it together and do different things with that so they're not connected with one stick. Uh, I personally prefer single stick operation because I don't really have a need to control them separately, but I, either one works pretty well. There's just more to do with, uh, with two stick operation. So the way we're going to get it, it's in the blue light means that it is in quadcopter mode right now. It does not come like this out of the box. I already got it into quadcopter mode, but if you are in quadcopter mode, in order to get into single stick um, hovercraft mode, you have to get into two stick first. The way you do get it into two stick is you put these sticks into the top left corner and you hold for seven to 10 seconds. The light should turn yellow. This indicates it is in two stick hovercraft operation. So if I click it down, this controls the hovering motors right there, and this controls the forward motors, and it can also turn it. So that's two stick operation. And in order to get it into single stick operation from here, put them into the bottom left corner and hold for seven to 10 seconds. Okay, taking a little bit longer there. I think, uh, I'm not quite sure. It kind of blinks a little bit. Maybe we have to wait a second. There we go, okay, it takes, it takes a second. But now the light, as you can see, has turned a deeper green. Now it, this indicates it is in single stick operation. So, this stick controls both both uh, hovering and forward motion. It also turns it as well. And so that is a uh, two stick operation. Okay, now onto the hovercraft video.
Battery is getting low. Um, now we're going to be uh, switching to the video that shows you how to get back into quadcopter mode. Okay, so here is how to switch it back into quadcopter mode. So first, we're going to be taking carefully taking these uh, ducted fans out of their little slots on the hovercraft platform, I guess you'd call it, and then. There's little clips that hold in these inside the uh, little holders there. You got kind of got to run your fingernail in there to unclip them. Kind of pop it up out of there. And then make sure they're all out. I've got two more over here. There we go. And now that it's popped out, you can just slide these ducted fans back into their slot on the uh, the drone's frame like this make sure they click and they're all the way in okay now that it is back into a physical quadcopter form now we're going to be switching it back into quadcopter form so quadcopter mode I should say turn on the transmitter plug it in obviously Okay, the light is green, which indicates it is still in single stick hovercraft mode. So in order to turn it back into uh, quadcopter mode, I'm going to take these two switches and put them into the, or these two uh, sticks, put them into the bottom right corner and the bottom left corner for the left stick. So opposite corners like that. And it should turn blue. The light should turn blue. There we go. This indicates it's back into quadcopter mode and let's test it out. Gotta give it a second so it receives signal. There we go. Sure enough, we're back in quadcopter mode and we're good to go. Thanks for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe.